Hey guys, how's it going? This is Rex Furry here with a Bottles Glasses tutorial. Alright, so let's start by getting this out of the way here. Alright, so Bottles Glasses. What is Bottles Glasses? Well, Bottles Glasses is a BK, or Banjo-Kazooie, model viewer. And basically what that means is it allows you to, uh, to view 3D models of the Banjo-Kazooie game. And uh, you can go and uh, it, it's basically a FPS uh, kind of camera here. So uh, you can view the 3D models in X, Y, and Z space. All right. So let me go and uh, show you here. All right. Whoa. Okay. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, you can rotate around the model uh, using the X or er, not X, the W A S D keys, as well as the mouse. All right. You can zoom out. You can even view it from above. All right, as you can see, you can zoom in a little bit. You know, and you have kind of this FPS style camera. It's a really great feature. And uh, yeah, there's just tons of models um, from both Banjo-Kazooie and Tui. As you can see, we have uh, Mumbo's uh, token pad here. All right, there it is. And uh, let's see what other models we have. There's a platform again. All right, and here's a uh, just kind of a random um, Random piece to some kind of level, and uh, you know you just have a whole bunch of different kind of uh, different kind of models here that you can kind of rotate around, and uh, I believe you can actually export the models as well. But um, I've just begun to use this program, so I'm not as familiar with it. But the reason I'm making this tutorial is because, frankly, there's not any tutorials that I've really seen on how to use this program, and uh, especially on YouTube. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and make one. So yeah, now that you've seen a little bit of the Bottles Glasses engine, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get it and uh, just kind of how to install and how to uh, work with it to get it to work. All right? So I'm going to switch to a different window really quick and exit out of Bottles Glasses, and I will see you guys in just a second. All right, guys. How's it going? Uh, I'm back. This is Rex Fury again, and let's get this out of the way. All right, so we are here at Rareware Central, um, the site for just basically everything Rareware fan-made, Banjo-Kazooie, um, Conquer. It's a great site if you love Rareware games. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's scroll down here. All right, and this is where I got my version of Bottles Glasses. Um, I Actually, the reason I didn't go to the official page um, to download it is because the links didn't work for me, so I had to revert to going here. And this is just a post by uh, Torrent Storm. She's a user, or he's a user, I'm not really sure. Um, judging by the picture, I'm going to say she is a user on Rareware Central. And um, she just posted this uh, little thread here on Bottles Glasses, and uh, I downloaded the latest version of Bottles Glasses, uh, so basically I just clicked on this link, and uh, that's how I got my version, all right? And uh, I will have this um, link to this page or thread in the description box, so don't worry about that. All right, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the latest version here. All right, and we get this little uh, box here that says, do you want to open this program in this program, which 7zzip is what I use. All right, so um, basically this is asking you, um, what program would you like to open this in? Because this is a zip folder, and you will need a zip uh, zip extraction program to open this file. And uh, so I recommend 7zzip just because it's a free program, and I will have the link to 7zzip in the description box as well. So don't worry about that. Um, another one is WinRAR, but that's not free. Um, there, it's only a free trial, and so I will not have that in the description box, but you can go check that out if you like. But I'm uh, going to use 7zzip, but both of them work fine. All right, so I'm just going to uh, have it open with uh, 7zzip, and I'm going to hit OK. All right, and there we go, and I already have it downloaded, so it opened automatically. Um, if you haven't downloaded already or whatever, um, it might take a while, a couple minutes, depending on your Internet speed. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, once you go ahead and uh, extract it and with your extraction program, you'll get all these files here, and you'll have a MISC file. Well, you should have a MISC file if you download it from uh, this, or, uh, this link right here. All right? So, um, basically, what's inside the MISC folder is a GED compressor. All right? This is what you're going to use to um, basically get all your um, files and stuff. All right? And then you'll have all these uh, just kind of um, other files right here. And then you'll have a bkviewer.exe. Okay? So um, right now I'm just going to close this. And let's see. Okay, close that. 
All right. So, whoa, you guys saw a brief thing on my desktop. All right. Anyway, it was okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Google. And you guys can't see me typing this in because my recording software, I believe, is only capturing this space. So uh, don't worry. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to type in cool ROMs. And this is just a plain ROM site. All right. So hit enter. And this is what you'll get uh, when you type it in on Google, okay? So basically what we're doing now is, also I will have the uh, link to this site in the description box, all right? Just really quick. All right, so anyway, what we're doing now is we're getting what's called a ROM, okay? Now a ROM is basically a ripped game from um, basically N64, Sega, anything that takes like, kind of like a... <coughs> excuse me, like a cartridge, all right? And uh, that's basically ripped onto the computer, and, uh, yeah, all right, and ROMs, just really quick, ROMs aren't, uh, like, necessarily legal, um, unless you own the game, like, yourself, like, actually physically own the game, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, actually do, uh, or, well, like, did, and then I gave it away, so now I'm just doing this for testing purposes for this video, and, uh, actually I just got it back again, so I'm all good, but before you do this, um, you probably should have the ROM, or not the ROM, the real game. So, yeah, just to let you know. All right, so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just click on this link right here. All right, wait for it to load. All right, get a mysterious black screen. Wait for a while. Okay, here we go. So, here we go, coolrom.com. And now what we want to do is we want to go download a Banjo-Kazooie ROM. This is what will allow you to extract the models from the, uh, from the Banjo-Kazooie game. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and in this little, um, little browsing session, or not session, little browsing um, kind of options list or whatever, I'm going to go just click on the B. All right, wait for it to load yet again. All right, here we go. And Banjo-Kazooie is the first one, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. All right, and I'm just going to wait for it to load. All right, and here we go. And just wait a second. All right. And it says we have to wait six sec or well, four seconds now before the uh, download appears. All right, here we go. And we're just going to go ahead and click on download your file. All right, and open with, and you need to choose your ex uh, zip extraction program. All right, and hit OK. All right, and I'm just waiting for this to reload. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry about the little brief cutoff there. Uh, something just happened really quick, and uh, so yeah. All right. Anyway, let's minimize this. Okay. So after you've downloaded the BK ROM, um, you will get and extracted it with your, um, or open it rather with your uh, zip um, extraction program. You will get this. All right. And uh, it might be different for you because uh, if you're using like WinRAR or whatever, but if you're using 7ZZIP, uh, you should get this, all right? You'll have a little Banjo-Kazooie kind of thing right here and a README. The README, you can just, um, I mean, it's not really necessary, so yeah, all right? But the Banjo-Kazooie ROM is definitely what you'll need. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight both of these, and um, I'm just, I'll, I'll just keep the README because that's what I do. So anyway, you want to copy and paste them onto your desktop. All right, and I actually already did that, so I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right, and I will see you guys in actually just a second. I'm going to switch to a different window really quick. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, just drag this onto your desktop or somewhere will you will uh, know where to navigate to it. And, uh, yeah, I will get to the uh, next step after I switch to Windows. All right, so see you guys in just a sec. Hey, guys, I'm back. All right, uh, again, let's start by getting this out of the way. All right, so as you can see here, I have my uh, GED compressor open as well as bottles glasses. All right, so this is the basically the final step um, that you need to do. Um, once you've downloaded, um, like by now, basically you should have the um, bottles glasses program, obviously the GED compressor, as well as the Banjo-Kazooie ROM, all right? So what you're going to need to do now is um, with your GED compressor opened, you're going to want to go to um, decompress game, all right? And what you're going to want to do is look for or navigate to your Banjo-Kazooie ROM. And it's like on your desktop or wherever the heck you saved it to. Um, just open it or just click on it actually and hit open. All right. I'm not going to do that though because um, basically what should happen after you do that is you should your computer should just get like a massive amount of BKM files. Um, which are basically the models, the Banjo-Kazooie models, BKM. Um, 
uh, that you can use in bottles glasses, all right? So um, don't worry, your computer will be just like massively flooded. And what you need to do is um, if you hopefully just like hopefully you saved your Banjo Kazooie ROM onto your desktop. That's the like basically the best place to do it. All right. So um, if you haven't done it, just like really sw uh, quickly switch to your desktop. So it, it's way easier to navigate to and everything. All right. So basically, um, once your computer has been flooded with uh, these BKM files. Um, you want to go ahead and just go into your computer or whatever, um, navigate to your desktop or whatever where all those files are, and you want to just highlight all of them. Just, just, just select all of them. Just click and drag all the way down until um, you highlight all of the BKM files, okay? And after that, what you want to do is you want to go, um, you want to cut those, all uh, right? So you want to right-click on them, and you want to go cut. And you want to create a new folder, and you can just name that file folder like Banjo Kazooie Model Files or whatever the heck you want, and just paste all of those files in there, just so just to keep it organized and get them off your desktop. <laughs> all right, and um, yeah, the next thing that you want to do after you've got that is you want to go um, Options, or actually you want to go um, to File and Set Model Directory. And um, something might happen really quick because my recording, so just be prepared for some skipping. All right, so hang on a sec. Okay, never mind. Uh, nothing happened. I thought something would. All right, but anyway, um, you want to go to Set Model Directory, and you'll have all your stuff here. All right, and you want to navigate to where you created that folder. Okay, so wherever you put all those files in, you want to you want to make a folder, and once you've put all those files in that folder you want to uh, find where you put that folder, okay? And you want to just select it and hit OK. All right? And hit Cancel. Okay? Um, I just hit Cancel. You can. You actually want to hit OK. All right? <coughs> uh, excuse me. And you should see then all of these BKMs that were once on your desktop or whatever are now in your model directory, okay? And you can click on each individual one. And to navigate around your models, um, you can left-click anywhere in this blank space. And use the WASD keys to move back and forth, left and right, okay? And wherever you're putting the camera, like if I'm putting it up and I press W to go up, it will go in that direction, okay? All right, and that is pretty much it. That's how to download and use Bottles Glasses, all right? And just really quick, I'm using uh, 0.5, and so if this like video is outdated and you're watching it right now, um, it might be a little different, okay? But anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I believe it's like the only one on YouTube right now, so yeah. Anyway, um, don't worry about the gaming tutorials. There also there will be more as well for those of you who follow my gaming tutorials. So uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe, comment, rate this video, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys next video. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, take care and see you later.